there's been plenty of plenty of talk and plenty of chat about you know who we're going to pick and and also just mapping out you know the because we've got pick 80 in the draft so we have to be have all contingencies up up until pick 80 so there's been an enormous amount of work for it from our recruiting team uh, and our list management committee too mark and bryce play a an enormous role and head up the recruiting team. So they give direction to the, to our other staff in, in terms of being able to bring all the information together from character assessments to inter, you know player interviews to psych testing to physical testing, you know, being able to bring all that information to the table. Chai Simpkins a different type of player, but um, in terms of we've spoken about um, giving us a point of difference with our midfield or our, our, our playing group and just that bit of X factor and uh, the ability to, to impact a game um, without a lot of possessions and yeah sure we we haven't seen much of him this year to due to injury but if, if you rewind 12 months ago look, I guess um, we wouldn't even be talking about him at, at, at pick 11 given that he'd be a top 5, top 6 player so whilst he's different to Brody and uh, Perryman um, certainly be a welcome addition to our playing group, I would have thought. You mentioned the X Factor there, Bryce. That you're right, or one of the things I really like about Jai is that he brings that touch of X Factor and goal kicking ability, but he plays footy the right way too in terms of his footy character, I reckon. Like he, his intent and his tackle pressure and energy and effort around the footy are as good as anyone in the draft, I reckon. His work rate's going to translate so well to the bigger brands at our level. Got a competitive streak. Division awareness and traffic, bring other players into it. He just seems to know where the runners are. Yeah, well, he's 17th year in his Nationals game, we're as good as most. Um, and I don't think you're going to find a kid in the draft with better character than, than Jai. By today, we're probably only thinking about one or two things around, um, you know, one or two specific players. But we're we're pretty set on what we want to do and and the strategy around our four selections. You know, on the night, we certainly have to be prepared for for everything because one of the things is we get two minutes to make a selection and then a following two minutes extra time if we need to. It's not long. Now, if you've spent so much time throughout a year or two years on the preparation for one particular draft, you have to make sure that you're not scrambling in that two to four minutes to try and work out, okay, who are you gonna pick? Pick number one in the 2016 NAB AFL Draft, playing for the Essendon Football Club, we Andrew McGrath. Chris Fagan, and with him, the number three pick, Hugh McCluggage. Yeah, the pick nine, the Gold Coast Suns, have chosen Will Brody from the Murray Bush Rangers. The pick 12, Jace, the North Melbourne Football Club, has chosen Jai Simpkin from the Murray Bush Rangers. Joe Simpkin, what can you tell us about him, please, Shifter? He's a nimble will-o'-the-wisp. He's the boy with the dancing feet. He'll slip <laughs> through them. He broke his leg early in the year, overcome adversity to come back. He could have been a top ten if this draft was in the middle of the year, uh, so they've got an absolute beauty. Joe Simpkin's a creative um, mid-forward, a very creative player that brings others into the game and plays with a lot of energy, uh, I guess X-factor and unpredictability. With Brent and Daniel Wells uh, leaving, um, he, He's, he's a guy that can give us a bit of point of difference. Potentially would have gone higher if he had applied this year, but with a with injury, you know, was probably restricted in the amount of footy that he could play. But a mid forward, so some a, a player that will spend some time in the midfield and also forward is a goal kicker, put some pressure on, but also in the midfield he's got a, a bit of sideways move and a bit of a step. You know, we think that that can add only add to our midfield group. I think it's sort of soaked in now, so I'm pretty excited and um, yeah, just, yeah, I guess I'm uh, grateful for the opportunity I've been given and yeah, can't wait. Hopefully the docs give me an all clear and hopefully get yeah, do most of the training. So yeah, looking forward to fly back this Arvo and then um, back up tomorrow night for training on Monday. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's really quick. I did a pre-season last year for the NAB AFL Academy with um, Richmond and Melbourne, but yeah, every club's different, so it'll be pretty tough. First day on the job. Excited. Yeah, that'll be good. Can't wait to meet everyone. First day at NFL Football Club, everyone remembers that. 
Yeah, you, you feeling? Oh, I'm excited to get back, actually. Yeah. yeah. We're back in the routine. Get ready for next year. So we've got a few Bushies boys now. It's the Sean Atley, Kane Turner, Sam Wright, Josh Simpkin, myself, Jared Wade. He's a bit older, though. Yeah. He's about 44, so he might not count. How old are you? 25. Five. 25. 27? Jesus, nah. It's good when you get like um, a few years we've had like three new blokes, so it's, it's a bit harder for the new guys when there's yeah. only a couple of them, but when there's like seven or eight, it's, it's nice when there's a few other blokes starting with you. Will Fordham will stay on the rookie list, and then I think there's three spots available. So it'll be three new guys, four draftees, so there's seven, and Tommy Jeffries is eight, starting this year. Yeah. Plus we've got Nathan Rovat, Paul Laherne, and Marley Worms, so they're new to the club as well. So there's 11, Jesus Christ, there's a few in there. 11 out of 44. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you very much. You're right, mate. The players that potentially would come to our club, and they, they're going to get a, a, an unbelievable opportunity to, to be at a club for a minimum of two years and try and make the best of it and, and take their opportunity when it comes. So it's a, again, being part of the AFL as a player, it's just an unbelievable opportunity and, and we think being able to come to North Melbourne's an even better opportunity.